Welcome back everyone to another episode of Argentina where my economy is collapsing. Not necessarily the best signs and I just realized liberals took power. Shoot. Uh wait, no no, I must I just don't have enough money right now to reopen these factories. So, yeah, let me let me re uh, well, one of those two factories can die for the other one to live. And let's see. If only I could build a factory right there. Build wood mill. Actually, a wood mill would be really helpful for my population over there. But anyways, yes, we are encouraging a ton of immigration to all of our lands. Because we really do need more people to move over here. So that we can start doing more stuff. Apparently, Paraguay has a little bit of industrialization, which is going to be nice to steal from them. And yeah, we've... We're kind of having just a little bit of difficulty right now in terms of what's happening. In fact, I'm also going to close this factory right here. Because now I have a... Ah, shoot. That's going to cost me something. <laughs> An arm and a limb. Okay, so now I'm a little bit bankrupt. Luckily, I don't owe very important people. Like, I owe Finland and... And, uh... The other nation. Me. So... Really, I just, I don't owe that much, so it's not really that important. Let's go to Paraguay, let's go conquer these guys. Yeah. Yeah, they were not, oh, fully, fully support, fully expand, let's do this. It's wartime, so my gun support should be really good right now. My wool should be really good. Everything should be just, you know, air wheels. Let's build a gun, let's build a gun power factory there. That way we have a lot of gun factories. And that we are producing a lot of this kind of stuff. Let's see. Alright. We drive out those guys. Wait for all the spawn troops to die. It seems like... It seems like Peru, Bolivia is going to attack me. Probably not because they got, the, they got their butts handed to them by Chile. Let's see. We're going to kill all the spawn troops. Yeah. This is going to end pretty much in them being destroyed. Pretty much. And we're just going to take all their population. And with that population... Oh, we shall attend anyway. Um, hmm. Hmm. Shoot. I am just. This is what? Wait, what? No, no. What the heck? What? What? I I still get a little bit of time for loans though. That's. Wait, I only owe twenty one thousand. Hmm. Okay, I'll play, I'll play like this, let's see, no, and then a crashed economy, oh no, we have to start all over, okay, I'm going, okay guys, I'm going to resign, okay, I'm going to resign the game, not because, not because I really want to, but because that was kind of BS right there, like, seriously, I should have been, they should have just taken it out of taxes, because I've, I've gone up to way bigger loans than that, okay? Way bigger loans. And that should not have happened. That should literally not have bankrupted me because at that point, I won't be able to do anything. Like, all this amount of stuff I built up over the years will mean nothing. That's the only reason. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry if some people have a problem with me, like, restarting and no, not continuing the game. But if I would not have done that, I basically would not be able to expand enough for the bell curve. For when, you know, great powers become just so astronomically powerful that they won't be able to do anything. By the way, expand, expand. And, yeah. Basically that. If I would not have done that, we would have basically had a big, gigantic issue where we would never have been able to do anything. So, yeah. that. Besides, you guys saw it. That was pretty much BS. I still had... Well, I don't have the loans now. If that event comes back where it'll tell me to take loans or I have to do prestige... Uh... Yeah, here it is. I think this one was the one where it wouldn't bankrupt me, but there we go. Okay, and let's see. Outlaw public meetings. Wow, I could get that to actually pass? No, I need more liberals in the party. Um, see, I still took the exact same event, and I still got the exact same amount of money, but next time I'm not going to take the other event, because apparently that just makes you instantly bankrupt and destroys your entire economy. I did not know that. If I had known that, I would not have done that. I would not have you know, done anything like that. Let's move to the cigarette factory, because I'm pretty sure the wood mill, the wool mill is going to do pretty well in my country. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping it'll do really good. Anti-immigration riots, what? 
Okay, who who is against anti-immigration in my country? Like, seriously? It should be, like, one of the best things in the world. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is... This is becoming dangerous times. Alright, now that I got the main production of power taken out from Paraguay, it's time to go destroy their... Time to go destroy their main army. Oh, and this is the event that got us last time. No. Get that... I'll just take the Australian infamy hit. I don't really care that much. Yeah. It's not worth it. It's not worth losing my entire... It's not worth losing my entire prestige, you know, military might and all that just for, you know, just for some stupid, some stupid money. Like, seriously, that was, that was seriously surprising that that seriously did happen. Like, I was not, okay, I'm going to stop talking about it, but that was, it, it was seriously shocking. I'm not even like, I'm not even like kidding you people. That was seriously like really unexpected. Okay, I'm going to have like. Capitalists start being encouraged in Borrelios so we can start having more people and let's see what else do we need um, Shoes output. Oh, we need state. We need state government Why do we need state government because there's a lot of things that could go with state government. That'd be really awesome to have like Well, first of all the La Plata thing is definitely something we're gonna need to do if we get the state government thing we're definitely having a nice town. Let's see. Let's siege up. Oh wait. Yeah, it's much quicker. I forget in, in this game It's much quicker just to siege it up all together than to siege it up individually It also would be good if I had some cannons there. So let's build like two cannons Not very many but two cannons should be good for like sieging up everything and that should help my economy And just a lot of other things. It's just good all around. Just good all around the government Oh my goodness. Nope. Sorry farmers. I'm in a little bit of a tight bind right now I went to war when my economy wasn't quite the greatest. So, sorry farmers, I usually like to help you guys out, but for once, I actually don't have the resources to do that. And let's see, can I actually support you guys? You need a little bit more money, I see, I see. All right, and I have my cannons here. Go move my cannons over there. Let's see, we're having, we're taking a lot of money now. We have 32k in debt, not exactly my ideal, but then again, we're going to go up to about 1 million population as soon as this is all done, which is going to give us a major boost in terms of power and prestige because we're also competing with Brazil, who has 1.86 population, okay? If we can map, if we can com sub completely surpass Brazil in terms of what they have, that'll make me so happy. Like, seriously, we can surpass Brazil, that makes me so happy. And let's see, we're going to siege down all these provinces way quicker now that we have our cannons with us. Yes, look at those sieges. Those sieges are nice. And the flag, and Bolivia changed its flag again to the Peru-Bolivian alliance, I guess? I really don't know where these guys stand. They seem like they just are not stable enough to keep a good government in power. Like, they, they just keep switching, and I can't honestly decide if that's... Oh. I should probably, I should also probably get a shoe factory here at some point because shoe factories are apparently very valuable in my country. And let's see, we have lots of different reform desire. Yes, everyone should want to reform. I will keep passing more and more reforms. Trust me, you don't even have to ask me. I'll be like, uh, you know, you don't even have to ask me. You just have to be like, you know, I, you know, there's this reform that I'm looking at and it's kind of cool and oh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. I'll pass it. I'll pass it immediately. Really? But all I said was that it kind of looks interesting. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll still pass it. <laughs> that's the, that's just how my government is right now. We are literally that open up to all to all like you know immigration and stuff. We are literally that open. Let's see. And after this, I'm pretty sure Ergi actually takes. Are you actually the world leader? No. Are you the world? Please tell me, Peru, Bolivia is not the world leader. Oh, great. The blight of... Ah, ah. Spare no expenses. Uh, immigration push. Oh, man, this is... Uh, dang. Do I want to get political consciousness, or do I want to... I can't lose prestige. Yeah, okay. No, you're not the country I go to... Which, okay, if I was to make peace, what country would I have to make peace with? This country right here, okay. Okay, 
I'm really confused about right now who is the world leader because it's like some people are the world leader but some people aren't and right now I have a good push to do some more stuff what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what you guys proportional let's get proportional you get a proportional voting system I really don't I really don't care that much and Ajiristan wants to become independent and no one really cared enough to want him to be independent Oh, that feels that feels so bad right there. Oh man, my country is going so much into debt. We're gonna we're gonna be paying off these loans for a while, but at least at the very least we will have 1.1 population, a good round boat, a good round border, and a good future to entail. So let's go crush this army. Go back over. Yeah, let's go crush this army first. Then go crush this army. Then go unseize that. Yeah, we could probably do this all in a good successive turns. Let's see. Paraguay wants peace. Annex. There we go. Actually, we don't even need to do that because they declared peace for us. And there we go, people. Another population in our march. We got 1.1 population. That means we're not suffering any more, like, you know, penalties because we're under 1 million population. Problem is, is that we are suffering a major interest power thing. So, probably no this, no this. Um... Yeah, probably administration is probably going to have to go down for a little bit. And if I'm going to pay back this as quickly as possible, just no administration for like a couple years. This is going to hurt me, I already know. But no administration for like a couple years. We're going to basically tank through all this. It's 82k, so this 82k of like no administration, tank through all this, try to get it all done before my rapid decay of like state administration efficiency. Okay? That is our ideal. And am I gaining any, like, capitalists from over here? No, I'm not. For some reason, I'm not gaining any capitalists from that region, which is kind of making it pointless for me to try to, like, encourage that region. So, let me think of something else to be good at. Probably clergymen, I'm guessing. Yep, clergymen need to be updated again. It's 2.6 now. Yep, 2.6. Keep the clergymen coming. Keep the clergymen coming. Let's see, we have a gunpowder factory, by the way, that closed down a supply line. You know what, we open a gunpowder factory, close down this. I need at least one factory to survive in the, the Pompta. Okay, and Bull Rios. Oh wait, yeah, we can't actually open any more factories for a little bit because we're just trying to pay back our loans. Okay, um, that's why immigration's not doing so well. Okay, uh, remove focus. Uh... Get some more immigration in Onto Rios. Um, let's see. You might also get some in some Banjo Paraguay too. Once I once I reopen this, I'll like do some stuff here. It seems like there's a lot of people already clamoring out for a second factory. We could probably support it. Um, can I actually unsupport this and it would actually do really well? Yes! Okay. This is actually our first factory that's actually doing well on its own. Good. Okay, and actually this one's actually doing well on its own too. Might be thinking about that one in the future if I want to increase. Hmm. Might actually move it. Might actually move some stuff, some natural focuses. Cause let's see. The uh, factory that I just was looking at, this one right here, only two thousand employees and doing way better than this glass factory. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see what happens and see if it helps us. I mean I'm just going to look at the population right now, so Mato Grosso, it is mostly Platinian, Irish, Brazilian, all this kind of stuff. Let's see what happens to it in the next couple years. Let's see if it's actually going to increase or if it's just going to decrease. Okay, and let's see. Oh man, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to decrease this fast enough for it to do stuff, so I'm probably going to have to increase, do like a balance here. Because it's probably going to decrease too fast. Let's see. Payback all that. Uh, payback right there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We owe so much interest. So much interest. But as soon as we keep paying it back very slowly and surely, we'll be able to, you know, do stuff with it. And I think I might open up this winery. Open up a little bit more immigration policy over here. Might help us out with in terms of workers. Which might help us out. They must be give. They must be integrated by force if necessary. Yes. We kind of need to keep that logic going. Sorry. 
Okay, Jacobson Rebels. Okay, pay back at least another 10k. So we can get that interest. That interest right now is... Where is it? Right there. That interest right now is hurting us by a lot. If we can start whittling down that interest, we can start like having better, you know, population gains, I should say. And let's see. We could probably get this. And we could probably get this too. Uh, let's get this because this is actually helping us. Education. And let's see. We need some good old-fashioned improve improve clergyman in our two top regions 1.82 let's try to get that bonus again and yeah look at our country guys Argentina is slowly starting to rise above the ranks I mean let's see I also if we can do it right now do we have enough we have hussiers yes build two of these guys because I do wanna I do wanna transfer out our two really really bad uh, cavalry units and transfer them to hussiers uh, and this is soon, I'm trying to make this our main army to be used. Elmino Heldria, who's actually pretty good at his, at his own right. He's actually becoming a pretty good general. Let's see, we're slowly starting to repay back all of our loans. Once he gets to 10k, I'll send into the next payment. The Blight. The Blight. Oh my goodness, there's so many Blights. What is with you guys in Blights? You guys really love to have Blights. Okay, pay back the next... Here, 10,000. There we go. That should drop it down another one. 36. That's increasing our money gains by a lot. Yeah. This is this is how you repay loans if you took a massive amount of loans, people. And it's slowly... It's actually helping my economy slowly but surely. Okay. You guys go over here. Um, you guys right here. Detach. One, two. Let's see. You guys de-destroy yourselves. You guys move in. Become like new best friends. Okay, yeah, you guys become new best friends be together and let's see by the way. How's our immigration policy going? Um, Still okay. It isn't great right now But we have two of our top regions working on clergymen, which is good. I'm glad Bonjour Paraguay is taking a good liking to us, which is good. I Think <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's taking a good liking to us. I'm not quite quite entirely sure and the Irish have actually decreased in my country, which is kind of sad. That means America must have gotten its stuff together and it's becoming 2000, 2000. Oh no, we're keeping up. We're keeping up with America, which is good. It's a good thing. And we are becoming a major immigration powerhouse, which is what we need to do. Let's see, we got 21k. That means we can pay back a lot of this. Uh, actually, I'll go to about 12k. Why? Because I do want to reopen up this money needed. I do want to reopen up this right here so that we can start keeping more people in this region. You know, have some type of economy being supported over there. The blight, I know the blight is spreading everywhere, but having some type of economy spreading over here. Have some more stuff right there. This is this would definitely fail if I was not here. <laughs> Man, that would def that factory would definitely fail if I was not there supporting it. But we kind of need an arms factory. Okay, there we go. Okay, so conquest of the desert, yes, do that. Passports, yes, do passports. State of the government, yes, do state of the government. Uh, change national things, no. Uh, research gain, fundamentalism. Oh, and now we can start more colonization, yay. Yes. All right, as you guys can see, that was, if you were wondering why I kind of waited for colonization, this is the reason why. It's because you get this special event that actually lets you colonize these region, regions for prestige and for call for prestige and you get them for free. So you basically get free regions and you get free like colonization. That's pretty awesome right there. Like pretty awesome I would say. Okay. And let's see, we have 43 in debt. Not too bad. Let's see, something collapsed again. Because that same winery, I'm gonna be really mad. Don't you dare die on me again. Don't you dare die on me again, winery. Seriously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, the one thing I do hate about this game, though, is the fact I cannot control what I'm making. If I could control right now what I'd be making, I would totally not be doing any of what they're doing. Because right now, any of what they're doing is pretty stupid. Like, I'd love to start making my own factories. Making my own way. But sadly, I still don't have the ability to do that, which kind of does stink. It really does. 
And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.